Hello everyone, uh, hi guys, this is, uh, Demon Rants, and today, uh, well, I, I kind of, like, uh, I've kind of, um, I can I didn't really know what to do a video of, I don't know what to do a rant about, so, I decided to just do some game reviews so far, and, uh, if you want to suggest a rant, then please write it in the comment section, but anyway, today's review is um I'm gonna re review not all of the Tekken games I don't have them all but I'm gonna be reviewing the ones on PS2 because the PS2 is actually my favorite console and uh, I think Namco did really good on that system and uh, I do have I do have Tekken 3 but on disc but I I also have Tekken 1 and 2 but I have them downloaded onto my onto my PS3 using the PlayStation Network so I don't have them as physical copies but I wanted to start the um this this was the first game to come out on PS2 and it's Tekken Tag Tournament now uh just gotta say something uh, the, the cover does kind of differ from the American one which I, th I actually like this cover a lot better because it's just Kazuya's face with in a, in a white background There's nothing nothing too complicated there while in the American cover it's just got loads of faces in like negative you know like negative um, filter it's just a bunch of the characters faces a bit clustered together I don't really like that cover but this is this is game review not box reviews oh, I might actually do that I don't know but anyway I like the cover because it's um this was Kazuya's return he wasn't in Tekken 3 and by the way this game doesn't actually have a story this is a non-canon game so that's why there's no number on it before I get to the game we'll just look at the back also, I think this differs from the American uh, NTSC release. This is PAL, PAL region release. And you can get this game really cheap. That's where I got it for four quid. But <coughs> anyway, this game is pretty much a, a greatest hits sort of collection. Because, um, you know, it was the end of the PS1 trilogy. And uh, also, guys, when I. Oh, well, one thing before I talk about this. When I get to my Tekken 5 review, I'm just going to talk about my origins into the series and how I got into it and stuff. But anyway, what this was, was that it was the end of the PS1. It was the end of the PS1 trilogy, Tekken, what, Tekken, Tekken 2 and Tekken 3. So um, the, the PS2 was coming up, so they made a launch title for it. And I'm going to say... The PS2 has some really crappy games on its launch channel, and like shit, like crap, like Smuggler's Run and that that fantasy game and stuff. What was it? I think it's Eternal Ring or something like that. But yeah, this game was good. This game was great, and it came out in 2000. And pretty much, it's what it is is that it's got the graphics of Tekken 3, slightly more modified. Like the graphics aren't amazing, but nowadays but they couldn't put this on the PS1 so they had to wait for the PS2 but um, it's pretty much got them kind of style graphics of Tekken 3 and it's got every single character with the exception of exception of Dr. B Dr. Bosconovich and Martial Law other than that it's pretty much got every character from the first three games ever in the game so there's like I think that totals for about 30 odd characters so yeah, that's that's really cool, and uh, it definitely has it definitely has added make makes the matches a lot longer to play, and um, it's just it's just like and the actual tagging itself is just very very quick, very smooth, it's really good. And I will have to say though how the Tekken games they had to wait to make a separate game to do the tagging rather than Dead or Alive where it, where it was a mini game, but. Not mini game. It was a different mode. I, don't, I, don't, I never liked that mode in Dead or Alive because you have to like hold two buttons. It isn't just one of the shoulder buttons. You have to like hold A and B. This is the Xbox version, by the way, of Dead or Alive. But you have to hold like two of the buttons, and that's how you tag. And it's just really annoying. But in this, you just hold uh, you just hold L one or R one or the trigger buttons. You know, uh, L two and R two. You just hold. You just press one of those buttons, and you get tagged. But yeah, it's even got and, and the the only new character in this game is unknown, and it's actually June Kazama, who was in the last one, and it's June, and she's like turned into this like I don't really know. She's covered in this purple goo stuff, and she has this um she's gone evil and everything. She copies people's moves, and there's this is there's this wolf on her back. 
that controls her. So I actually thought she it was a pretty good boss battle and it was quite fair and she was actually pretty fun to fight against and you know, th there isn't that much to say. Oh yeah, also there's the Tekken Bowl mini game where you can pick two characters and you can actually go bowling. Now this mini game is absolute genius. It's just really, really fun. And unfortunately I have an Android phone so I can't play it. But uh, if you have uh, Apple or iOS, there's actually a, um, a Tekken 3, no, no, te Tekken Bowl app you can play but unfortunately you only get to play as Jin, Panda and Shao Yu, you don't get to pick all the characters but it's something, it's Tekken Bowl on the go but I can't play it because I have Android and everything but but whatever but yeah well, one of the criticisms I've got to say about this game is the music to be honest I never really found the music that that good in this game it wasn't awful and it didn't make me want to turn it off but it just wasn't very memorable there was only like a couple tracks that, that I found really that were really good and uh, also I found the I found the the levels a bit boring as well there wasn't that much most of it was just copied from Tekken 3 you know like the Aztec temple and the there's a school and there's a there's this weird like it's like a disco ferris Ferris wheel thing, you know, Ferris wheel, um, whatever, you know, horses that spin around and stuff like there's a carnival for some reason level, yeah. But there weren't, there weren't that many songs in the game that I found interesting, but, because it's, also because it's non-canonical, they were allowed to pretty much do what they wanted, because in, in the storyline a lot of the characters were either killed off or went missing, and then they also returned later. But, um, that, that didn't matter because there was no story so they could all go together. So um, that's pretty much it. The game is really cheap nowadays. Um, I actually bought this recently, this one. But anyway, it's just, just a really fun game. Uh, unlike the other ones, it will actually take you a lot longer to uh, unlock all the characters. Because of, because of the tagging and stuff, there's, there's loads of characters to unlock. So yeah, you, you don't get them all straight away. So... And I like that element because it makes me want to play it more. But anyway, uh, you know, every everybody's there. Well, prior to the prior to Tekken Four, obviously. But yeah, so I'd recommend getting this game. It's really cool. It's classic, and it's one of the. It's just a gem on the PS Two. So uh, yeah, there isn't really much else to say, but it's Tekken with tagging. Oh yeah, and the sequel Tekken Tag Tournament that was really good. That had all the characters since, you know, t from Tekken, well, the, the original trilogy, 4, 5, and 6, all into all into one. I might review that, but I don't actually have a copy of that. I have it downloaded. So, yeah, but this will be the first of my, this will be the first of my Tekken reviews. I'm going to review 4, f 4, 5, I might review 3, and I might review 1 and 2 as well. I don't have 6 yet, and... I'm going to have to get a disc version of Tag Tournament 2, but anyway. Thank you, and um, sorry about the dog and everything. But anyway, just it's a really good game. The PS2 has some awesome fighters. So next time we will take a look at Tekken 4. So anyway, uh, thank you, and uh, goodbye.